morning, YouTube. I've heard this a lot. You may have not. Now I'm Dr. Seuss. Uh, the more you complain, the longer you remain. Try not to complain very often. Sometimes a little complaining is good for our health. Uh, we need to vent and let that come out uh, just a little bit. Uh, holding things in, bottling things in is not good for us, and a little rant can be healthy, especially controlled and in the right circumstance, not lashing out, but letting out to someone who you can keep those kind of things confidential uh, every now and then. But complaining doesn't change a situation. No matter what the situation, nothing you say is going to change it. Your sore knees, the quarantine, your financial position, anything in life, it's not going to be changed by complaining. It might release a little emotional pressure, but in the long run it doesn't get you very far. And if you are the type who complains too much, you begin to wear on other people. And not only does it detract from the time that you have to address the problem or do something about the situation, but it puts your mind in a negative place. If you complain too much, you begin to focus on the problem, what is wrong with the situation rather than what's right in the situation. And where you look is what you see. So the longer you spend focused putting your mind on the negative parts of the situation, the less you'll be able to see what's good, what you should have gratitude for, the positive things, the kind of things that will lift you up psychologically and lift your mood emotionally because you're not looking at them. So a little tiny sprinkling of complaining in your life is, is okay. Uh, in the right circumstance, in the right way. But usually, if you find something you need to complain about, it's highlighting that either you're not looking in the right direction, you're looking at the problem rather than the solutions, rather than the good things that are surrounding you. It's, a, it's an attention problem, a focus problem. You're focusing on the negative rather than finding the positives. Or it's highlighting for you something you need to address. And you should try to be a solution-minded individual, either through acceptance, something in your environment or in yourself is what it is, what it is, what it is, and you cannot allow yourself to accept it, and that's causing you difficulty. So you have to accept the things you cannot change. And if there is a way to make the situation more acceptable, to be able to move to make the situation more acceptable to you, to improve the situation, to solve the problem that is causing you to complain. Because complaining won't change a thing. And the longer you do it, the longer you sit in the situation. And the more of a Debbie Downer you become to other people, and people may think that you're not fun to be around because you always complain. And they generalize often to always and not want to spend time with you. And it puts you in a negative state. It causes you to regularly focus on the negative rather than the positive. And it detracts from time to either accept the situation and settle into it, which takes a major load off, or to address it and change it if possible. So circle all the way back around in my cyclical speaking like I do. I'll say it one more time. And it's not from me, it's something from the internet. Um, I've heard from a million motivational speakers. The more you complain, the longer you remain. So try not to do it very often. Love you guys. Bye, YouTube.